Hi everybody. Over the next couple of weeks, our home learning activities are all based around one of our favourite stories, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Today I'm going to read the story to you using some props that I have made at home. Make sure you're sitting comfortably. Our story is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you see the egg there? On Sunday morning, the sun came out and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one slice of chocolate cake, one ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one cupcake, one slice of cherry pie, one slice of salami, one sausage, one lollipop and a slice of watermelon. That night, the caterpillar had a tummy ache. The next day was Sunday again and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. Mm. He felt much better after that. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a great big caterpillar. He started to build himself a house called a cocoon. He stayed inside that cocoon for two whole weeks. After two weeks, he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and he pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. Mm. That's the end of our story. I've got a few questions here which you might like to talk about with your adults at home. Can you remember what the caterpillar had to eat in the story? Why do you think the caterpillar got a bad tummy ache? How long did the caterpillar stay inside his cocoon for? At the end of the story, what did the caterpillar turn into? Thanks for listening, everybody.